Hello all, welcome or welcome back to being passionate learner. I am Dr. Padmapani Tribhuvan. In this video, I am going to discuss A star algorithm with solved example. Let's get started. A star algorithm is informed search algorithm. It is a most widely known form of based for search. If you don't know what is based for search, please watch video on based for search. Its link is given in the description. As A star algorithm is a form of based for search, it uses evaluation function f of n. It evaluates node by combining g of n and h of n. g of n is a path cost to reach to node n from initial node and h of n is the cost estimate to get from node n to the goal node f of n is equals to g of n plus h of n. Now let us apply this algorithm on the graph shown on the slide. Consider directed graph having a as starting node and g as the goal node. Each cost are also mentioned in the graph. Consider the heuristic values are calculated by using some heuristic function. Heuristic of node e is 7. Heuristic of node B is 6. Heuristic of node C is 5. Heuristic of node D is 4. Heuristic of node E is 3. Heuristic of node F is 4. And heuristic of goal node G 0. Now let us apply A star algorithm on this graph. Here we will have open list and a closed list. Algorithm will start with initial node A. A will be added to open list along with its evaluated value. The value is evaluated by using f of n formula which is addition of g of n and h of n. So f of a will be calculated by using path cost from node a to a and heuristic value of node a. The f of a will be 0 plus 7 which is 7. So node a will be added to open list along with value 7. It is the only node in the open list so it will be explored. After exploration it will be added to close list. Node A has three successors node B, node D and node C. The way we have calculated f of A in the same way we will be calculating f of B, f of D and f of C f of b is 2 plus 6 which is 8, f of d is 4 plus 4 which is 8 and f of c is 3 plus 5 which is 8. These nodes will be added to open list along with their evaluated values. Out of these three, the node which is having lowest evaluated value will be selected and it will be explored if it is not a goal node. Here, all three nodes have same evaluated value so alphabetical order will be followed and node b will be selected node b is not a goal node so it will be explored after exploration it will be added to close list node b have one successor that is node d we will calculate f of d it is 5 plus 4 is equals to 9 d is already in open list but there evaluated value is 8. So this value is smaller than the value which we have calculated now. So the value of D will not be updated. It simply means that we have two different paths from node A to node D. One is direct path from A to D and the second path is from node A to node D through node B. Out of these two paths, the direct path is having lower evaluated value as compared to the second path. So the second path will not be used for further exploration and this will be considered as a dead end. Now node C will be selected. C is not a goal node, so it will be explored. After exploration, it will be added to closed list. C has only one successor which is node D. So its value will be evaluated using evaluation function 
and it evaluates to 8. So again we got one more path to node D, it is through node C. Evaluated value of D is the same as the direct path from A to D. Value of D in open list will not be updated as the value is the same. Now we got two paths from A to D with same evaluation value. So we will go with direct path from A to D and we will consider the path from A to D through C as a dead end. Now in open list there is only one node which is node D. So it will be selected. It is not a goal node so it will be explored. After exploration it will be added to closed list. D has two successors node E and node F. F of E is 5 plus 3 is equals to 8 and F of F is 6 plus 4 is equals to 10. These two nodes will be added to open list along with their evaluated values. Out of these two nodes E is having smaller evaluated value so it will be selected. It is not a goal node so it will be explored. After exploration it will be added to close list. Node E has two successors node F and node G. F of F is 6 plus 4 which is 10 and F of G will be 9 plus 0 which is 9. Node F is already in open list with the same evaluated value so this value will not be updated and this path will be considered as a dead end. In open list we have two different nodes F and G. G is having smaller evaluated value so node G will be selected. Node G is a goal node so algorithm will terminate here. After applying A star algorithm on this graph we got path A, D, E, G and the path cost is 4 plus 1 plus 4 is equals to 9. Always remember the heuristic of a goal node will be always 0 and path cost of initial node will be always 0. With this we reach to end of this video. Thank you for watching this video till end. See you in my next video. Till then being passionate learner keep learning. Thank you.